Hello and welcome. Today I will show you how to use the Tiremani Tire Pressure Monitoring System app. So without wasting any time, let's begin. Open the Tiremani TPMS app by tapping on the Tiremani icon. Wait for the app to open and you will see a pop-up asking to turn on Bluetooth on your device. This dialog only appears the first time you open the Tire Money app. By tapping allow you are turning on Bluetooth, so that the app connects to the BLE module and starts receiving sensor data. Wait for a few seconds and check the connection icon at the top left of the screen to see if it's animating or not. If it is animated it means you are connected to the BLE module successfully. If the icon is not animated, then it means that for some reason your BLE module is not connecting to the app. You can try reconnecting by tapping on the connection icon. If it is still not animating after waiting a couple of seconds, then maybe you are using an incompatible BLE module. This app only supports Tiremani BLE modules. Let me explain the user interface, so that you know which element is what and what is the function of each element. The connection icon is used to connect and disconnect the BLE module. Title is used to toggle between dark mode and light mode by simply tapping on it. The exit icon is used to exit the app. The number you are seeing above the card is the tire number. The red number is representing the pressure value for each tire. The value is red only when the pressure limit is violated. The number below the pressure number is the temperature value for that tire. If you look at the bottom you will see PSI which is the pressure unit. Next to the pressure unit the C represents the temperature unit. The pressure unit can be changed by tapping on the pressure unit. It will toggle between three pressure units, PSI, bar and KPA. Select the one you like. The same procedure works for temperature unit. Change it by tapping on the temperature unit. It will toggle between two units, Celsius and Fahrenheit. Now you can see four icons in the bottom navigation bar. I will briefly explain it for now and we will go into detail later. Icon 1 is for changing the selected vehicle. Icon 2 is for sound settings. Icon 3 is for pressure and temperature limit settings. Icon 4 shows company and app version information. Now if you want to change the selected vehicle, tap on icon 1. A scrollable list of supported vehicles appears in the dialog. Tap on any vehicle and it will be selected. For example if you have a bike, then tapping on the bike will change the selected vehicle to bike. Next is the loudspeaker icon which is for changing sound and language settings. Tap on it to see the sound settings dialog. At the top of the dialog you see the list of supported languages. Then at the right you see the warning notification sound settings. And at the left you see the alert tone settings. To change the language simply tap on that country flag and instantly the language will change. To mute the beep sound which is played when any pressure or temperature limit is violated. Tap icon 1. To mute the spoken warning notifications. Tap icon 1. To save sound settings. Tap on the close button. To change pressure and temperature limit settings, tap on icon 3. The first row is for changing axles of the selected vehicle. If your selected vehicle has two axles and axle 1 is selected, then below settings will apply to axle 1. So remember to change the limits for axle 2 as well. The first slider is for setting the high pressure limit. 
The second slider is for setting the low pressure limit. The last slider is for setting the high temperature limit. The default button is for resetting the pressure and temperature limits to default values for both axles. You can adjust pressure limits and temperature limit for each axle according to your needs by using the slider knobs and the axle selectors. Now let me explain what each value means in this dialog. If the tire pressure is higher than this limit, the alarm will be triggered. If the tire pressure drops below this limit, the alarm will be triggered. If the tire temperature is higher than this limit, the alarm will be triggered. One last thing, if you are using sensors with 12.5 bars pressure range, then you have to long tap this button to change max pressure to 12.5 bars. Long press toggles between 5.5 and 12.5 bars maximum pressure value. You can save your settings by tapping on the close button. This page contains info about the app version and the different ways to contact us. Use the buttons to navigate to our office, visit our website, contact us by phone or send us an email. In case you find something not working properly in the app, please let us know via the provided email. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.